Amy find more articles by trying other combinations of search words. When she looks at that article on special ed referrals and gender bias, she sees some other useful subject terms that she hasn't tried yet. From the abstract page of this article, she can use checkboxes on the right to combine subject terms. Here, the subject terms are combined with AND. The more boxes you check, the shorter your list of results, so it's important not to check too many boxes. If she wanted to expand her search by using sex bias and sex differences as alternate terms, she can't do that using these checkboxes. Mary would have to use the advanced search form so she could use both terms on a line with OR. If Mary tries other databases, such as PsycInfo, she might be able to use some of the same words. However, note that the official subject words in PsycInfo come from a different list, the PsycInfo thesaurus, so the subject terms might be different. The advanced search page may also have checkboxes that can be used for adding concepts. These special checkboxes can be unique to specific databases. In PsycInfo, the methodology search can be useful. Perhaps you are only interested in longitudinal studies or quantitative studies. In some cases, PsycInfo's age group search can also be useful. In ERIC, you can use checkboxes to specify particular K-12 or higher ed levels. These education levels are linked with OR. So here, the more boxes you check, the more articles you find. If you are looking for articles related to any level of K-12 education, be sure to include a check next to the awkward phrase, Elementary Secondary Education as this is frequently used to tag K-12 articles. Another useful feature in ERIC is found in the Document Type menu. If you check the box for number 143, Reports Research, you will limit your results to research articles and will filter out non-research articles like book reviews. If you have trouble with your search, contact a librarian. We are always happy to help you find more ways to search for information.